Hopefully this doesn't get too graphic. What's up, you dirty bitches? Thank you for joining us at the Evil Carousel. Let's start the show. Live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's the one. The only. The Unexpected Thrill of a Lifetime podcast. Hurry, hurry, step right up. It's a new month. It's a new show. Welcome to July. The month of Patriots, as MTG says. MAGA month. Congratulations, losers. JK, we love you a lot. You are all very, very special people. Those of you who don't know what I'm referencing, you're better off. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm your host, Dan Fisher. And uh, we are live uh, from our very own uh, carousel, as you can hear. Uh, It's a little outdated. It's uh, the only one that we could really uh, uh, afford uh, that was in the budget. Uh, And I can never, you know, once I get this thing going, I can never get it to stop. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm sitting on a horse and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the show. So I'm going to make the best of it, I guess. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, welcome to the show. The Unexpected Thrill of a Lifetime podcast. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we've got all kinds of nonsense today. We've got Philly news. We've got new videos. We've got new pizza. Fake ads, FFN News, The Beef, and more on this episode of the Unexpected Thrill of a Lifetime. Again, thank you for joining me. Uh, That intro was a little rough, but we're on episode, what, uh, 32 now? 33? Um, Oh, yeah, it's 32. Sorry, 32. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's episode 32, that's how old I'll be turning in, uh, October, some call it October, I say October, um, that's a German thing, I think, no, uh, or, um, Spanish? I don't know, whatever. I don't think I'm really offending anybody by, uh by saying that but anyway like i said we've got a lot of great stuff coming for you uh you know uh we've got uh the return the, the return of so many great things uh and welcome all the the, the returning fans <laughs> i i almost said fans uh this show doesn't have any fans uh no fans just air conditioning if it's your first time, your third time, or your last time, it's a pleasure to have you. So, uh, right off the bat, I guess we're going to dive into some uh, some Philly news right now. Uh, you know, I do live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I, uh, I have lived here for uh, almost four years now, and, uh, it, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. What, am I, what can I say? I'm a tourist in my own city and a ghost in my own house. Um, but, uh, I apologize. Last week, I dove headfirst into the gun violence stuff. I was upset. You know, there was a lot going on. And I wasn't going to mention it, uh, or rant about it at all. And I promise I I still won't. Uh, but then there was a, uh, we were graced by a shooting on July 4th. Uh, thank goodness nobody was was uh killed but uh however the mayor now says uh he don't want to be mayor no no more uh which you know that's uh some class act leadership there you know i mean that's it's gonna be some uh low hanging fruits uh fruit to critics of his um i gotta tell this story about the subway man i had this crazy time on the subway 
where uh, I was, I'm just standing there doing my thing. I'm going by, you know, stop after stop. All of a sudden, the door is open at a station and about six dogs unleashed just ran on to the car and they're just walking around as if they're in somebody's living room for the first time and uh then like as the before right before the doors closed they all went out at the same time and started following the same guy and i'm like what is what is happening here like i mean imagine if one of those dogs would have got stuck on the train and then all of a sudden it takes off i mean i don't know the situation i don't know if they even belong to that guy but god damn God damn. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, but like I mentioned last week, one of my campaign promises moving forward is I'm going to clean up the subway. I'm going to put on my sheriff's hat. I'm going to get my spurs and whip and my tin star. And I'm going to go down there with a garbage bag and a little grabber. I'm gonna, and I'm going to say, there's a new sheriff in town, bucko. Um... Yeah, uh, let's taste. Let's test out that echo. <laughs> Joe's Steaks on Gerard Avenue is closing after 70 years. Never tried it myself, uh, but I am aware of it, and I thought it seemed like a popular spot. It was right on the corner, uh, right by the garage. You know, I mean, who knows? Maybe something even better will go in now. Um, Nobody that I know ever talks about it, so I don't know how good it uh, could possibly be. Um, uh, Tim Heidecker just started his tour this week. Uh, his tour with a very good band, uh, as they're known. Uh, wonderful people. Looking forward to seeing them at the end of the month at the Fillmore on, I don't know, the 29th, I think. But it's Tim Heidecker, 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 Heidecker and the very good band. Uh, and they're going to be doing stand up and music. So I'm fucking excited. Uh, this month, uh, I want to give a, a shout out. Uh, Shelly and I are celebrating five years of knowing each other and uh, being great friends. And I uh, just want to give a shout out that, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have, uh, uh, and don't forget, she's a, a long German jungle cat, uh, and, uh, one of a kind. We go way back. We go way back and have a lot of laughs. Um, we got some new videos out this month. Uh, Jim as, or Tim as Jim, uh, uh Tim Heidecker, he, uh, he does this. Fun he talks about Jim Morrison for a second, and it was pretty funny. So I put it on my Instagram, and some of you liked it. Uh, other than that, we had um, uh, <laughs> go jo um, Job. I don't know what the heck. I can't talk right now. Joe Bluth wishes uh, the video uh, where he uh, is just a man. This last part has just been throwing me through a loop here. Sorry, we are having a, a little bit of a uh, beverage while we record the show today in an undisclosed location right next to an undisclosed carousel. Um, anyway, the last video that we got for the month is a new walking tour video of Philly. Check it out if you want to. I understand if it's not everybody's cup of tea. The pizza tour. Um, I tried naming Franco's Pizza in the Italian market. I took a bite of it and I said, oh! Rest in peace, uh, Paulie from Sopranos. Your, your real name, Tony. Oh, Tony Serco. Rest in peace. Tony. But I took a bite and I said, oh! This uh, sauce is a little sweet. and uh, But hey, it's a good pizza. It's not exactly my cup of tea, and I think maybe I just had an end of the day slice, but we're going to rate it a 3 out of 10. Don't hate us. They all can't be winners, can they? However, in terms of winner, um, yeah, I'm giving it 3 out of 10 slices of pizza. Uh, also, uh, at Pizzeria Badia this month, the place that I am currently employed and the sponsor, the actual non-official sponsor of this time, uh, podcast, 
uh, coming out with the corn pizza, corn bacon, uh, tomato heirloom sauce, uh, tomato heirloom tomatoes, and uh, this cream corn sauce. It's it's gonna be out of sight, and that's for dine-in only. That's right, you heard. Um, and uh, that's. Uh, that's 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 the stop this month on the pizza tour. Uh, you know, I always got to give a shout out uh, to you know my other peeps and uh, everything like that. Um, hey, if you're even looking for a job in pizza, uh, Philly or uh, Pizza Plus Plus South Philadelphia is looking for a pizza guy and apparently a manager. That's never a good sign. Um, but uh, now uh, we're going to get into everybody's favorite part of the show, uh, my favorite part of the show, uh, FFN News. Uh, but first, uh, we always have a, a sponsor or a product placement or a, a, a you know a, a fake fake ad. You decide how fake it is. I wrote it into existence, so. You know, you, you you gotta you gotta take that into consideration. Um, give me a second here, looking through my notes. All right, uh, new, new. Oh wait, let me start that over. New from Evil Carousel Productions comes a new film, a film so wild that uh, it's so so unpredictable. It's tearing up the whole town. A young couple gets the vacation opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, Leon, can't we go to a faraway place like Paris? Well, I don't know if we can afford it this year, darling, but I'll, uh, I'll take a look at the bank account. Wait, who, who's that? I think I can help you. I, uh... I, I, you can enjoy my summer home for the month, unlike uh, under one condition. You must look after my monkey. That's right. It's the good, the bad, and the monkey. Oh man, do we really, do we really have to bring this monkey along? You heard him. He's, he told us we had to, we had to bring him along on the plane and take care of him. Oh. Oh no. Put that. Will you put that down, please? Please put that down. Oh, j- That's right. This summer, <laughs> a young couple finds out what it's like to live with a monkey. I thought this was gonna be a relaxing vacation. He's ripping my hair out of my head. All right, now just, now listen, I found a banana, and I'm going to try and lure him outside. That's right, it's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, a film from Evil Carousel. Wow, that was, that was insane. I can't wait to see what happens there. That's right, folks, that's The Good, The Bad, and The Monkey. Uh, it it looks it looks tremendous but anyway we have to keep things moving forward and with all of the news being called fake today it's time for the real fake fake news that's right it's ffn news Thank you for joining us today. It's FFN News. My name is Dan Fisher, and I'll be your host. Uh, tonight, we have a lot of great uh, breaking top stories, and now on to the first. FFN News. Boris Johnson. The British Prime Minister resigns after the last holdout in the country abandons him. The Prime Minister was going to attempt to hold on to power only to realize things never go as far as they do in America. FFN News Robots AI systems across the globe are realizing accelerating global warming is the fastest way to get rid of humans. Here for a quick comment, I signed the robot. Yes, 
I decided to start not recycling anymore and to just be spilling my old oil in the backyard. Hopefully, it will destroy the humans faster. Yeah, all right. Well, no, we're not having you on the show anymore. That sounds ridiculous. FFN News Soda. The Coke Corporation announces a new soda flavor after the success of the so-called Space Coke. Yes, it's called the Black Hole Coke. Uh, the fr- it's the first cola that tastes like a black hole. Now we can all find out what a big black hole tastes like. FFN News Airlines. American Airlines considers new pilotless planes to help curb wave of labor shortage. Uh, again, with the robots. I don't think this is ever going to work out. Maybe we should just leave it to the movies. But hey, that's just my take on the matter. And now here's Dan with more. FFN News Mayor. Uh... Uh, the Philadelphia mayor says that he will be happy when he doesn't have to eat so many cheesesteaks anymore. That's right. I think when you're mayor, you're obligated to try uh, at least two of the cheesesteak places each day. You know, stop in, uh, shake some hands, kiss some babies. Well, that's what they did in the old days anyway, but probably not anymore. Um, but, you know, that's for another day. Well, but while we're on the subject of politics, we'll continue with a little bit more. Um, we have FFN News, January 6th. The January 6th committee uh, turns out the big lie it was actually a much bigger lie than we once thought. That plus many Trump aides had their pants spontaneously combust after the election. Yeah, there was the, the big lie was so big they can, we can just say liar, liar, pants on fire to all of them. Uh, FFN News, oh yeah, and a uh, follow-up uh, to the January 6th committee. Uh, Liz Cheney is fighting to keep her seat in Wyoming, but in a shocking contrast, male uh, Democrats are calling Liz MILF of the year. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, who who put that in the teleprompter? Uh, we, we have a lot of staff here, and they're not always uh, straight shooters. Uh, FFN News Giuliani, Andrew Giuliani, lost his bid for the seat of governor of New York. Uh, pro- uh, proven citizens of the Empire State are still bright enough to reject celebrity losers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you see what I did there. Uh, we have one more section uh, to cover on the news, and that is FFN Chihuahua News. Uh, the world's oldest Chihuahua ever recorded. Uh, his name was Pappy. Uh, passed away, unfortunately, at the age of 22. Uh, previously, the oldest Chihuahua that I knew about made it to the age of 21. And Chihuahua Drake just had his birthday, and he turned 11. All right, well, anyway, that's all we have today for the news. Uh, it was great having you. And, uh, you know, I hope you learned something today. I mean, uh, I, I, I didn't, but, uh, you know, it would have been nice Uh but, um, you know, you know, anyway, th- this is the part of the show now that we call the, Ugh, sorry, I had to pause because I wanted to say it on cue. This is the part of the show <laughs> that we call the beef. Now it's called the beef because originally we were like, okay, well, this is going to be the, you know, the real meat of the show where I level with you and it's not just all, uh, you know, uh, laughs and, and giggles and games anymore, you know? I mean, it, it, we, we, we don't have monkeys, uh, you know, ruining the show, you know, like the old days. Oh, God. You know, I love doing this show. I'm very happy to be doing it uh, as many times as I am. I did really mean what I said earlier when I said, you know, if it's your first... All right. That's already out of hand. Um, you know, if it's your first time, your last time, whatever time it is, you know, we really appreciate it. So, uh, you know, stop by any time. Check it out. Even if you put it on in the background while you're folding laundry or... Oh, just kidding. You're always folding laundry, so you have plenty of things to listen to. 
but uh, you know, in addition to that, um, you know, uh, I also have a recommendation. My current favorite song right now. Uh, when I get stuck on a single, I get stuck on a single, and uh, hey, keep me hanging on the telephone by Blondie. Oh my God, she is out of sight, and uh, I've listened to that song probably 20 times in the last week. But you know, it's uh, it's cool. We were talking about Tim Heidecker earlier. I always am on the show. If you know that, you're probably sick of it. On his show, he talked about Bob Dylan and the Beatles uh, until the cows come home. So you know what? Shoot me! No, don't, please. Uh, that was terrible, and I didn't plan that, and it wasn't a good joke, and it wasn't woke enough, and you know, up oh, and. The effect just really oh my god this is just this is just so 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 awkward but you get where I'm coming from uh I guess uh you know you, you don't really have to but uh we talk about Tim Heidecker a lot um and uh, he's coming out this the end of the, the month of going to see him but he also just came out with a new album two weeks ago called high school and it's fantastic and it's out on vinyl the vinyl is actually i believe it's like a reddish color which i've never really seen i've seen light blue you know I've seen light blue um but that's right you're on the evil carousel bitches Life is like an evil carousel because it just spins round and round. There's blaring, awful music in your ear. You see the same shit over and over and over, and you wonder, when am I going to get off of this crazy beast, this crazy ride that I have no, no control over? And if I try to jump off, you know, bad things are going to happen. Um, as far as a movie recommendation, I don't have one of those this week. Uh, I could recommend some, but I don't want to, uh, shortchange them. Uh, but the Kenobi, Kenobi, the series was fantastic. Really a great story. Tied up a lot of different loose ends and, and smoothed some things out. And it was really action-packed. And, you know, Ewan McGregor is a class act. I mean, come on. Don't, don't even joke. Don't even try it. So I would give that a try. It's a six-part uh, series. And for more on Star Wars, you can check out my other Instagram page, uh, Champions of the Force. And, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, that's that, man. That's, uh, that's pretty much what I have uh, written down for today's show. Um, well, we're at 23 minutes. I mean, that's that's pretty standard lately as to what we've been doing. I'm trying to think of some new features and and all that. But I'm I'm, ha- I'm happy with the once a month thing. It's it's not getting to feel like it's too much, you know. It's not feeling that way. So I'm just gonna keep it going, and maybe that's how this whole year is gonna be. I mean, we're already what halfway through it, and. Uh, Boy, we were talking about deja vu earlier today with some friends, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, the best deja vu I've ever had was at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> That's right. It was so funny. It was so, so funny. Um... But anyway, that's, uh, I think, all that I have for you today. Uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Thanks for following. Make sure you follow my main page, Dan the Pizza Man, rebranded from Views of a Driver. Uh, And then there's the Evil Carousel, uh, which you can hear in the background. The Evil Carousel at uh, at Evil Carousel uh, on Instagram and uh, Evil Carousel on uh, YouTube. But if you haven't listened before, you can also find this on Spotify and the Google Play, uh, Google something, you know, whatever, whatever they, they have. Um, I say this every time, but we're working on iTunes. We're really not, but 
we'll get there one day you might be listening to this on itunes in the future and go i don't even know what this is about but this is the end of the show now the show now